5-0 win. You outshot Stetson 20-11, to but it felt like it wasn't even that close. Did the performance look as good to you as it did, did on the stat sheet? Yeah, it was a good, I mean, the first 30 to 35 minutes was some of the best we've played this year. So, yeah, happy to, to respond like that after a bad performance last weekend. So, um, to have the mentality right and the energy that we had to start the game, um, yeah, we were, we were on top of it for sure tonight. You said Friday you wanted to see more grit, more determination, more intensity. Um, and it looked like you got it tonight. What did you say? What did you and your coaching staff do to pull this kind of performance out of your guys? Yeah, it's, you know, there's a, a few buttons you can push. It seems that the button you push with this group is like, hey, nobody believes in you, that kind of button, um, or the people think you're overrated. Um, that one normally works too. So I don't know how many times I can use that one, but um, yeah, it was, they were a little sleepy to start in the locker room. I was a little worried and, you know, I kind of, Used my uh, used the lines I wanted to use right before the game, 45 minutes before the game, to kind of wake them up. And I, you know, it's a group that I think I mean, uh, Ben just said it best. Like you can tell what the performance is going to be and, and by the mentality and the warm up. Normally it doesn't, it's not very telling. But this group, when they're on it and they're ready, like that was a really fast start, and we were, we were in pretty much good control after about 10 minutes. A lot of times when you go to halftime in a close game. You're making adjustments. Today you went into halftime with a 4-0 lead. What did you and your staff talk about with your team? No, I mean, it wasn't complete. You know, we, we gave up a few good chances there at the end of the first half. And, you know, it could have been it could have been 4-1 or 4-2, but also could, we also could have scored eight in the first half. Um, but, you know, we had a few things we needed to clean up with, uh, you know, with how they pressed us and where, where they're trying to get us to play and how we wanted to break it. But... You know, mainly it was motivation to find another goal so that we can, uh, you know, on a Tuesday night with conference games in the weekend, you want to, you know, you want to get some other guys time and you want to stretch that lead out as far as we can so that the guys that sacrifice every day in training and work really hard for the starters to get the glory can can get their chance too and they can enjoy being on the field. So um, credit to, you know, we played 20, we played 20 players, so 21 players tonight. So, um, yeah, always happy when you can do that. You mentioned the way Stetson pressed in the front end. They played three forwards, pressed them pretty high. What was the key to the way your defense handled that pressure yeah, and kept the clean sheet? Yeah, I mean, they pressed with three, but they didn't release too many play other players high, so we were able to play through it, or we were able just to keep the ball in the back three. Um, so those, those three in the back are all very comfortable on the ball, and, and they're patient, and you can use Nikki and Noah and kind of bounced the ball off the center midfielders and you know we kind of played 5v3 there for a long time and I mean those forwards I don't man they must have run 15 miles tonight they just chased for forever so you know credit to those guys for having the energy to, to work and press but you know they, they trapped us a few times but we were pretty intelligent how we wanted to break them down. Gabriel Costa scored what proved to be the game winner just 87 seconds in on a penalty kick. How much does that change the complexion of what you can do sure. to basically start the game with a one-goal lead almost? Yeah, I mean, it, it changes everything. That when we were we were up, we were up two inside 10 minutes. I think we were up four inside 20 minutes. And you know, it's I mean, you're you're in, you're in good control. I mean, you're up two goals in 10 minutes, and then you find the third on a on Canute's he said chip I would say miss hit cross um, so when you find that you feel pretty good so. Eddie Manjoma scores on two free kicks where is he in your mind in terms of some of the better shooters that you've had on those restarts yeah I mean he's on 10 goals now as a, as a right wing back I mean that's, that's incredible like there's there's not another outside back in the country that's on that kind of production so um, yeah I mean he he takes a, a free kick well. He rolls it over the wall. I mean, my my thought is, why wasn't he hitting them last year? You know, like if he can hit them this well now, what was I doing the last three years? So, um, man, he's he's been in really good form, and you know the way he plays the game, the energy he has, the positivity. I mean, he's an excellent player. Solid win tonight. Now you go back to conference play. What do you want to see adjusted, tweaked, cleaned up? before you see Cincinnati this weekend? Yeah, I mean, tomorrow we're off and we'll train Thursday. We'll have a light training Friday and take off and play Cincinnati Saturday. You know, there's a little bit to clean up. The main thing is can we can, can we carry the mentality and the 
and the effort and the workmanlike uh, first 10 minutes from tonight, can we carry that into Cincinnati? Can we, you know, can we overwhelm them with the way we, we defend and press and pick up second balls and those things and, um, and then kind of let our creativity take over? Um, you know, if we can do that, the team can be really dangerous, but we have to have the right, I hate saying it all the time, with the right mentality coming into the game that, you know, we're going to put in a good shift and we're going to work and then, you know, express ourselves in the final third when we have a chance to do that.